Hi and welcome to Geeks for Geeks. In this tutorial, we will learn about pre and post increment operators in C++. Suppose we have a variable x equal to 10. We can increment the value of x using two methods, using pre increment like this or post increment like this. Let's see the difference between two. Here we are printing the value of x pre-increment of x and post-increment of x. Let's run this code. We can see that the output is 12, 12 and 10. Let's learn how we got this output. What happens is that everything in the line that is all pre, post, increment, decrement statements are evaluated and then the print statement occurs. For the post-increment statement, it is evaluated but not printed. That is, the initial value of x is printed for it. That is why we are getting 10 for the post increment of x. Let's see another example. Here, we have a equal to 5. We are first printing the post increment value of a, of a and then a. You can pause the screen and think of the output. So let's learn, let's run this code and see the output. We can see that the output is 5 and 6. So now let's learn the pre and post increment for a pointer. Let's see the difference between these three statements. Here we have an array and we are using the pointer to point to the first element of the array using this statement. Next, we are incrementing the value of star p by writing plus plus star p. This means that we are incrementing the value at the first index. Let's run this code. We can see that the value at first index now becomes 11. Now we are using this operator. This operator first increments the pointer that is, it moves to the next array index and then dereferences it. Let's run this code. We can see that the value at which p points is 20. Let's use this operator now. Similar to in the last case, in this pointer is first incremented and then dereferenced. The only difference is the pre and post increment of the pointer. Let's run this code. We can see that the output is as expected. So in this tutorial we learnt about pre and post increment in normal and pointer variables. This brings us to the end of this video tutorial. Thank you for watching. Please leave us your likes and comments in the comment section.